Ooh, what's up, nerds and geeks? My name is OMG, WTF, LOL, FTW, BRB. Welcome back to more Total Extreme Wrestling 2013. We are playing as the WWE in the year of 2015, and this is the final show of the month of May. NXT, everybody, big show tonight. We are finally having the Finn Baller versus Kevin Owens title match tonight. You can see in the main event right there, down below, 18 minutes dedicated time to this show. Or not to the show, to this match. It's going to be a good one. Hopefully. Um, yeah, we're doing the ending off the, uh, the month with the NXT title. But first, we have three pre-show matches. And surprisingly, this match did a lot better than I thought it was going to do. I mean, I was expecting a D, maybe even an E. But, um, no. It's a 61C. Can't complain about that. In a match that had some good action. Not much way in heat. Hideo Itami defeating Zack Ryder with the Kenta combo into a Buasaku knee kick. That's very specific. Interesting. Also, Zack Ryder's improving in performance. That's also cool. We then go on to a 48D+, and about that had solid in-ring action. But not much way in heat. Talia Dis Talia Sky. I don't know why I said that. Talia Sky defeated Alicia Fox with the double knee backbreaker. And did I say there was three pre-show matches? I meant there was four. My apologies, nerds and geeks, for lying to you. But I don't think it really mattered. We would have seen. Moving on, we go to a 61C. We have a match that had some good action. Not much way in heat. Sir Nicholas Magnus defeating Jack Swagger with the Tormentum. Um, we've done this match in the past, but I'm running out of people, too have uh them lose to i did uh i did go out and look for some people who are i don't know how popular they are in fact i don't think they're that popular at all i specifically looked for just guys who aren't really that popular i should have ah whatever i'll get to that later and in our main event of the night does a 73 b minus can't complain with that at all or not the main event of the night i'm sorry my the main event of the um <laughs> the main event of the pre-show not the main event of the night about that featured great action and a good crowd. Sami Zayn defeating the Brian Kendrick with the Haluva kick. Uh, I know I teased before how these two are going to fight each other. They most likely still will have their rivalry in the future. I just thought, why not put them on the show tonight? Because I stupidly forgot to call people up from Developmental Today, Nerds and Geeks. Stupidly did that. I wanted to do a match with Talia Sky on the main roster, or the main show, but I didn't call up anybody I wanted to have her beat, so... There you go. I stupidly did that. Uh, Sami Zayn and Brian Kendrick are both improving in performance skills, and I'm actually really satisfied with this match. Too bad it wasn't on the main show. Going on to the main show, though, we start off with a 75 B minus with William Regal in the middle of the ring, and he's hyping up the upcoming tournament, nerds and geeks. I know I don't know if I told you guys, and if I did, you might have forgotten, but. Um, we ha we are going to be having the King of the Ring tournament coming up at the um, Battleground pay-per-view. I renamed it WWE Battleground King of the Ring, like, you know, whatever those two dots are called. And um, there's going to be a, super a representative from NXT. And I'm going to have a tournament called the Prince of the Ring, which will be, you know, just consisting of, um, I believe, eight superstars. Yes, eight man. It's an eight man tournament. Eight superstars who are gonna get a chance to be in the King of the Ring match in uh, WWE. So that's just all William Regal's talking about. He's saying how we're gonna have the Prince of the Ring coming up, and the Prince of the Ring will see the debuts of both Sir Nicholas Magnus and Hideo Itami. It'll see the return of Sami Zayn, and we even have some surprises in store for you, ladies and gentlemen. William Regal, everybody, doing what he only does best, getting us a 75 B minus. Thank you. And then we go on to the announcers putting over that later on tonight for the NXT title. We will see Kevin Owens defending against Finn Baller. Not too bad, actually. 78 B. <laughs> Hell yeah. And then we go on to a video. This says it's hyping Sir Nicholas Magnus versus Hideo Itami. And not necessarily nerds and geeks. It's just a way to say, it's like, 
Next week, we will see the return, or the debut of both Sir Nicholas Magnus and Hideo Watani. Just simply like that, you know? 55C minus, though. I'm happy with that. And then we go on to Finn Balor backstage as he's hyping up his upcoming match against Kevin Owens, saying Owens is a bully, and, uh, you know, I, I, can't, uh, I can't doubt or, you know, bag on his... I'm, I'm using my vocabulary, by the way. When it, that's why I write out those things. That way I don't make, you know, sound like the same person doing a promo. But pretty much Finn's just saying how Kevin Owens a bully. Um, he's not knocking his own skill. Kevin Owens great in the ring, but as a person, he doesn't represent the company. And um, tonight, I'm looking to represent the company. So uh, Finn Balor just hyping up his main event match against, or his upcoming title match against Kevin Owens, 76B-. minus. Happy to see that. Oh, boy, oh, boy, oh, mine. Oh, my gosh. Nerds and geeks, I forgot to edit. Um, in case none of you guys know, I, um, I, uh, I boost up people's popularity on NXT. That way they get a good, better reaction because that's how WWE runs things, but I forgot to do it. That's why this match did so horrible. Oh, I wish I would have friggin' remembered. Oh, we can't go back now. A 28E, it was an awful match that was devoid of heat, nerds and geeks. The debut of Zach Billington, where he comes out and defeats Scott Dawson with a senior stretch. Uh, Zach Billington was a name suggested by one of you guys down below in the comment section. And it's a homage to um, the Dynamite Kid. I believe his... I looked it up, too, and now I can't remember what his first name was. But his last name is Billington, just so we know. Gosh darn it. It really irritates me that um that I didn't do that. Also, Scott Dawson improved in performance. We then go to Tyler Breeze, who is just hyping up the fact how the next next week is the start of the Prince of the Ring, and who better to represent NXT and the King of the Ring than Prince Pretty himself? Ah, uh, you know, just Tyler Breeze, everybody saying how it sounds like it's raining, but it's not. Just hyping up the fact that he indeed will be a participant in the Prince of the Ring tournament. We then go on to Kevin Owens, who is hyping up the upcoming main event against Finn Balor. He calls Finn Balor stupid, says he doesn't stand a chance. This is the Kevin Owens show, and after tonight, he's still walking out as the NXT champion. And then we have a video play, 77B, hell yes, hyping up the return of Sami Zayn. Sami Zayn returns next week, everybody. And then our main event, eh, well, that sucks. 67C+, plus, um, I kind of wanted it to do a B-, minus at least, just because that's, I mean, this is not a bad grade. I was just kind of expecting a B-, minus because it was all this hype for it, but either way, still not bad. Um, we're probably going to have to get Jason Albert off the commentary table because uh, his announcing was pretty weak, so, um... Probably going to find someone there. It deserved better color commentary. We need to find um, a better commentator than Jason Albert. He doesn't want to be a trainer. I don't know what the hell to do. I might make him a road agent if I can. The only cool thing about this, though, I will say, is that uh, Kevin Owens and Finn Balor have pretty good chemistry, nerds and geeks, so we now know that for the future. But uh, this match did have great action and a good crowd. Owens defeating Balor with a pop-up powerbomb and making defense number two of his NXT title. All in all, this gets a 69C+. Plus. No improvements anywhere, though, because it's a B-show, and B-shows don't matter, so that sucks. But either way, not a bad uh, NXT. We'll say I'm a little disappointed with the main event, but I, I blame the commentary a lot more than anything. I should have looked at the dirt sheet now that I think about it, but it can't go back. We did better than TNA. I think we actually did one point better than TNA. Yeah, we did. <laughs> That's funny. But other than that, let us go to our email. Oh, my Night Raw went down. Look at that. And um, we have announcers here. Let's go to NXT. See, it says he has color average. And Corey Graves is weak. Is there anybody else like that? I'm like, all right, he he's a good choice. 
Regal's kind of serving as the GM. That's like the only reason why I don't want to put William Regal on the color, but not Byron Saxton. I think I fired Tom Phillips or whatever his name was. Maybe I'll go back and hire like... What the freak? Has Jerry the King Lawler not been on freaking commentary like these past couple of SmackDowns or what had what happened? Who cares if he's a personality? He should still be able to Yeah, look at that. It still says like Oh, that's why it was doing that. I see. Okay. I was I'm not I don't Let's, uh, I'm not going to do it on camera, but I might look for new color commentators or something. Either way, nerds and geeks, that's going to be the end of this episode. Hope you guys have enjoyed. If you have, do me a favor, leave me a comment below. Don't forget to uh, leave a like as well and subscribe if you have not already. And also don't forget to share this video with your friends, Facebook, Twitter, all the other interwebs out there. My name's been OMGWTF, LWFTWBRB. I'll see you guys for Monday Night Raw. But until then, have a wonderful day.